Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about how to set up Octoprint. So we're going to continue with our Ender 3 series where I've been kind of modifying this Ender 3 that I have, Ender 3 Pro. Um, really fond of this printer and just some of the things I've been able to learn while doing it. So let's go over what we're going to need to set up and hook up Octoprint onto an Ender 3. Uh, first thing you're going to need is obviously you're going to need a PC. Um, so that you, and a micro SD card because you have to format a micro SD card. Uh, we're also going to need a Raspberry Pi, um, a camera if you want a camera, um, an extra cord, and uh, some kind of device to mount the camera. I'll show you a couple of these items real quick that I have for that. As you can see here, uh, this is my Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi 4. No, this is the case I chose for it. Like I said, you're going to need a case. Um, I have an extended cable here for a uh, for a camera, you know, that'll plug in in this area. There's actually a little ribbon slot there on the Raspberry Pi. If you read it, it says camera on it. You can't miss it. Um, the camera going to look like this guy here. Try to get that focused in a little bit. But um, there's this little thing here. And these are pretty cool. But uh, on the back here, you'll kind of just slide that like that. So it's open a little bit. And this will slide right out. You can see this is really short. Hence why I have this big old one here. So we will slide this into here. Get that in there real good and then just press this back down. And then voila, the camera's installed. Um, you wanna make sure you pull this little thing off the end of your camera. Now, you need something to mount your camera. This is a little loose, I 3D printed this quite some time ago. Um, so probably once I mount this and get it positioned where I want it, I'm probably gonna glue it into place so that it's you know positioned how I want it to look at the uh, thing. I might print something better down the line, but for right now this will do to get us up and running. So this will lift off, then your camera, excuse me, your camera will fit in here. Just like that. Then over top of it, a little clip that kind of snaps into place. And then uh, we're ready to roll. Camera's in there, ready to mount this. Boom. So let's get our SD card and let's head to the computer and uh, get this show on the road. Okay, so here we go. So what you're going to want to do is once you get your computer, you know, you're going to Get your micro SD card in there and whatnot. But you're going to go to website octoprint.org. Um, you know, snappy web interface for your 3D printer. So you're going to scroll down here and it's going to say download. You click on download. And what it's going to do is download and set up. And it's going to, you know, give you a bunch of directions here. Um, it's going to tell you what pies it recommends. Um, you know, and which ones it doesn't. It says, you know, don't use a Raspberry Pi Zero or Zero W. It's not recommended. You know, you want to stick to, you know, the recommended ones right here, the Pi 3B, 3B Plus, or B, or Zero Two. Again, avoid the Pi Zero and the Zero W. And it says, stop before you begin. Read the following instructions precisely. So the first thing it's going to tell you to do is download and install the Pi Imager on your computer. Now, this, like I said, it's going to be step-by-step -step instructions here. So you'll do that. I've already gone and done that. So let's just go ahead and open this. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to choose our Pi device. And we have a Pi 4. You can, I can scroll through here and you see all these different Pis. But we have a Pi 4. We're going to choose our OS. Our OS, we're going to go with other for specific purpose. Then we're going to want right here 3D printing. 
So you're gonna go to 3D printing, you're gonna see right here, Octopi. Now, make sure your micro SD card is plugged into your reader. I'm gonna click that. So what you're gonna do when you come in here is, you know, depending on when you do this, but when you go through this process, you're gonna want Octopi stable. Personally, I'm gonna click on Octopi with a new camera stack because we're doing some research that they've done some things to that they're testing with the camera and things like that. It looks like there's gonna be some better streaming that'll happen with it. So I'm gonna click on this one, but depending on when you run through this video and do this, you're gonna want the stable version. Now this version supposedly is stable, but there's some testing that's going with the camera tweaks, but I'm gonna roll the dice on this one. So we've got Octopi with the new camera stack. Now you're gonna to wanna to choose your storage device or in your guys' case, this will be Octopi Stable. So let's go here. Generic storage device mounted as G. G is what we are doing here. So generic, yeah, generic storage device. Yeah, there we go. So you click that, blah. sorry, tongue tied. You'll click next. It'll give you a warning. This warning is going to basically just say, would you like to apply OS customization settings? Let's edit settings. So you can set some things here like post name. I'm going to change this to Ender 3 Pro. And you can set a username and password. Now this username and password, I believe is just central to this Pi installation. So we'll go with Pi. Let's make our password. And we'll configure the wireless. And you wanna pick your country, which for me would be US. On local time, as you can see, just set that area. So let's see now we've got everything. Ender 3 Pro Pi. Local. And then we'll look at services. Anything there you want to enable. Mm -hmm. Save. Would you like to apply OS customization settings? Yes. All existing data will be erased. Make sure you understand that. Boom. I'll give that a minute there to write. Well, when that's finished, we will eject our SD card and we will go ahead and uh, get our Pi set up to the printer. Well, something to keep in mind, go to finish going through these instructions, you know, when they're up, you know, this will tell you here, you know, you configure Wi-Fi options. We did that, um, you know, and set the username, the username for the system user Pi is not the password you'll use for logging into Octopi, one that you'll have to log in a, into your Pi uh, via your SSH whenever you need to. So, you know, like what you set up here is what you'll physically log into the device with, not the program itself. Um, change and configure time zone, we did that. Uh, set that. You know, then I'll say install the SD card. We did that. All right, so we're down here. We have our printer turned off. I've gone ahead and plugged in the data cable into the Pi into the USB. Pi sitting there. Um, over here, we have our camera set up. I'll cable manage this a little bit better later. I'm going to probably reprint something better than this. I don't like this setup. Um, I thought it was going to work at first, but I guess I'm wrong. Okay. So after that's taken care of, what we're going to do next is we're going to turn our printer on. Then we're going to boot up our Pi. Go ahead and plug this in. Let it do its thing. 
we're going to give it, it usually takes like three minutes or so. We're going to go ahead and give it like five minutes to do its thing. And then we're going to go to the computer and we're going to set up, finish setting up our uh, Octopi. And like I said, we'll give us about five minutes so it can run all its scripts and all that. And we'll go from there. And it will connect to the network based on the settings we already put in there. So let's go see how it turned out. Okay. So we're back at the computer. We're on step five now. So it's got a couple options here. Um, you know, if your computer supports Bonjour, or type in HTTP, and then your, your Pi's IP address, and you can go from there. Um, what I ended up doing is I went ahead and did that. You can look at the top here. I typed in, you know, that, and then the name of Pi. Is under three pro pi, so not local. So here we are. This is the Octoprint setup wizard, and let's go to next and see what this is. You have to bear with me. It's my first time using this software. I'm kind of excited. Uh, would you like to restore Octoprint configuration for backup? No, I don't have a backup. Control access. Okay, so I need to set up a username and a password. Create an account. The login was successful. Cool. Let's go to next. Okay, test of connectivity is, is useful. Uh, test host and port. Enable connectivity check. We're going to go ahead and enable that. Here, next. Um, this helps them with bugs. Uh, this will send anonymous data um, so that they can, you know, do their thing. So let's go with that. Enable that. Enable plugin blacklist processing. Let's see now. Configure blacklist processing to protect against unknown services. Let's enable plugin blacklist processing. It looks like this is supposed to be good for me. Let's see. So classic webcam and time lapses. Um, this will tell you about your time lapses, it looks like. Okay, so we'll test. Oof. Okay, so that camera's looking good. I'm like, going to have to adjust that angle a little bit, maybe. There's a snapshot. Okay, so those work. That'd be kind of cool. Okay, set up your profile. Okay. This is where you're going to enter your build volumes. Um, if you don't know your build volume, you can look them up. Open, you know, your build volume. So we've got our build volumes. Access. I don't mess with that. That looks good. Cool. Cool. That's all good. What does this say here? For your safety. You with Occuprint, you should never leave your printer running completely unattended. Hmm. The electronics sometimes catch fire. He doesn't know it's on fire. Okay. Happy printing. So reload. All right, there's an update available. Let's go ahead and update now. Release notes. What we got here? It's changed. All kinds of stuff. Okay, let's go ahead and proceed. Let's just do all the updates while we're here. I mean, you might as well. There we go. That'll show us that. We got time lapse. We're going to have to play with that. So if you go on a Z change, it won't work from the SD card. Interesting. So we got all kinds of stuff in here to play with. Anyways, guys, so that's uh, this whole setup here for Octopi. Um, I'm going to dig into this and see about all we can do. And you know, I'll get you guys an update and hopefully some tutorials on how to use this as I start to play with it. It's been a pleasure learning how to do this with you. And uh, come back. See you later. Bye.